Invitatory for St. Philip Neri, Priest Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Invitatory Antiphon Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Alleluia. Morning Prayer for Tuesday in Easter, the Memorial of St. Philip Neri, Priest. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalmody Antiphon 1 You will turn back, O God, and bring us to life and your people will rejoice in you. Alleluia. O Lord, you once favored your land and revived the fortunes of Jacob. You forgave the guilt of your people and covered all their sins. You averted all your rage. You calmed the heat of your anger. Revive us now, God, our helper. Put an end to your grievance against us. Will you be angry with us forever? Will your anger never cease? Will you not restore again our life, that your people may rejoice in you? Let us see, O Lord, your mercy, and give us your saving help. I will hear what the Lord God has to say, a voice that speaks of peace, peace for his people and his friends, and those who turn to him in their hearts. His help is near to those who fear him, and his glory will dwell in our land. Mercy and faithfulness have met. Justice and peace have embraced. Faithfulness shall spring from the earth, and justice look down from heaven. The Lord will make us prosper, and our earth shall yield its fruit. Justice shall march before him, and peace shall follow his steps. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Our misery is known to us. May no evil desires prevail over us, for your glory and love dwell in our hearts. You will, you will turn, turn back, back O God, God, and bring, bring us to life, life and, and your people will rejoice in you. Alleluia. We have placed all our hope in the Lord, and he has given us his peace. Alleluia. A strong city have we. He sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. 
Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth and the world's inhabitants learn justice. O Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We, we have, have placed all our hope, hope in the Lord, Lord and, and he has given us his peace. peace. Alleluia. The earth has yielded its fruit. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. Alleluia. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be gracious and bless us, Lord, and let your face shed its light on us, so that we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. The, the earth, earth has yielded its fruit. Let, let the, the nations, nations be glad and sing for joy. joy. Alleluia. The reading is from a letter to the Hebrews. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Alleluia, alleluia. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Alleluia, alleluia. Day or night, they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. I have set my watchmen to guard you. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Alleluia, alleluia. Canticle of Zechariah the Antiphon What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Alleluia. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord, Lord the God, God of Israel, Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. 
In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Alleluia. Intercessions Christ is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Let us praise and thank him as we pray. Nourish your people, Lord. Christ, you decided to show your merciful love through your holy shepherds. Let your mercy always reach us through them. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your vicars, you continue to perform the ministry of Shepherd of Souls. Direct us always through our leaders. Nourish your people, Lord. Through your holy ones, the leaders of your people, You served as physician of our bodies and our spirits. Continue to fulfill your ministry of life and holiness in us. Nourish Nourish your people, Lord. You taught your flock through the prudence and love of your saints. Grant us continual growth in holiness under the direction of our pastors. Nourish your your people, people, Lord, and for the happy repose of the souls of all the faithful departed. We pray, nourish your people, Lord, and for the intentions in the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We pray, nourish your people, Lord, and for the intentions which we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray, nourish your people, Lord, And now let us pray as Christ the Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. O God, who never ceased to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants you raised up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen.